What is going on everybody? My name is Zagatoji 2744 here today with some news that for those of you guys who use Installus or AppSync really aren't going to like. If you guys haven't heard already, Installus and AppSync have been shut down by Haculus. Haculus is not government, it's not anonymous, it's the company or the developers who developed and created Installus and AppSync. And they said, quote unquote, Good night, sweet prince. Yes, they're referring to Installus as sweet prince. Kind of odd, but whatever. Uh, we are very sad to announce that Haculus is shutting down. After many years, our community has become stagnant, and our forums are a bit of a ghost town. Kind of weird. Uh, it has become difficult to keep them online and well-moderated, despite the devotion of our staff. We're incredibly thankful for the support we've had over the years and hope the new great Hope that a new great communities blossom out of the absence. With lots of love, the Haculus team. That's that, folks. That's like the first use I've had for my iPad in like a month. I've taken like a two weeks absence from the YouTube channel, and I do apologize. I've been really addicted to this game called League of Legends. Uh, it's a really good game. I love it. Can't stop playing it. Uh, it's been frustrating over the last couple of days because I've been going on a losing streak because I get stuck with noobs, which is quite odd. But I want to go ahead and talk a little bit about the Haculus and the AppSync missing, uh, and possibly some of the effects that will take place from the absence of these two things. So first things first, whenever somebody mentions Jailbreak, I usually don't go, oh, it's how you get free applications. But that's what a lot of people do. They say, hey, I get free applications because I jailbreak and people are like, whoa, I don't have to pay for applications anymore. And that's what they do. And everybody goes to install us to do that or AppSync. But the majority of people use install us. It's probably the easiest tool to pirate applications. You know, you see that $5 application, you don't want to spend five bucks. You might have five bucks, but you don't want to spend five bucks on that application. So you go to install us, search it up, download it. It's pretty easy. Click a few buttons, voila, it's on your device for free. And a lot of people did that because it's an easy process and stuff like that, but now with Installus and AppSync gone, it's going to be harder for you to pirate applications. In fact, it's going to be hard for quite some time for you to even be able to steal applications. Let's go ahead and say that. But I will say this. They have said that hopefully a new, better company or Blossoms, whatever they want to call it, uh, comes out because of the fact that it's very possible. I think with the absence of Installus and AppSync, we're not going to have app piracy gone forever because these two things are gone. Obviously app piracy is still here, but the average people cannot do it without install us uh, because that was the easiest tool to do so. But I, I can pretty much guarantee within the next couple of weeks to months, something like that, uh, somebody will come out and say there's a new tool on Jailbreak where you can pirate applications just as easily as you can do in install us. Somebody's going to do it because there's a high uh, amount of people who want these tools. They want to be able to take these applications because, let's face it, nobody wants to pay for applications, but I support you guys and I do salute you guys if you do decide to support the developers by paying for their applications. Now, Developers, this isn't really going to help them much because uh, app piracy on iOS wasn't very large. As many of you guys know, uh, Google has a higher app piracy rate, uh, Android does, than iOS. It's a lot easier for people to steal applications, but I'm going to say this. They have a lot more free applications and stuff like that. Um, but with iOS, people typically used to install us, and with install us gone, People are going to pirate less applications, but like I said, some other tool is bound to come around sometime. Uh, and this isn't black and white. I get it. I want it to be in black and white. Why not? Uh, I'll have some content and crap over here. So, uh, Anyway, basically, with it gone, someone else is bound to come around and release a new tool, similar, very similar to Installus, click a few buttons, download an application for free. Uh, I've always supported developers, that's just my thought, that's what I do. I, I don't like to take because if you don't support the developers, why would they develop? They're not going to develop for you guys for free. It's just not how it works. They're a company. They're looking to make money. They don't develop things for free unless they're being paid by a company to develop that and then put it on the App Store for free for their promotion, such as a, a website application or something like that. Um, but other than that, the majority of them have uh, resulted in doing things with their applications such as in-app purchases or advertisements because they know if people do steal their applications, they can still make money off of it with in-app purchases. 
Uh, one of the more popular examples that I commonly think about is Asphalt 7. I believe it was Asphalt 7. Um, with Game Loft, what they did is they put the application at like 99 cents, which they always used to be like 5 or 8 bucks. Not 100% sure, but they were fairly expensive up front. And a lot of people would pirate them, so they thought in their head, you know, if a lot of people are going to be pirating this application, why not find another way to get a lot more sales, but also have in-app purchases? Because if you can get a lot more sales by pricing it cheaper, by a 99 cents application that looks this great, people are going to download it. And that's what people did. They downloaded Asphalt 7 like crazy because it was only 99 cents. Why not? It's cheap price. And even for 99 cents, people still stole the application. And that's where the in-app purchases came along because it made you feel like, I, I kind of need to buy these in-app purchases. But then again, the game is still playable without in-app purchases being necessary. Uh, but they, they make it so like you're on the borderline of buying in-app purchases. And that's how uh, applications make a lot of their money, in-app purchases. It is very smart for app developers to price an application very low, such as 99 cents, or possibly even free, put an ad maybe on the menu, or better yet, in-app purchases because people get addicted to the game and if the game is addicted enough they'll go through and they'll say how can I be better than everybody else how can I beat everybody else's scores and if you make that possible through your in-app purchases as a developer you're gonna make money because those people are gonna buy things in app purchases through your application you're gonna be making money from that simply to be better than other people at that game so with install us and app sync gone like I said have no fear if you pirate your applications because more than likely somebody else is going to develop an application just like install so you can pirate them just as easily on jailbreak ios 6 jailbreak news i'll keep you guys up to date as usual again i apologize about the absence about two weeks I, I was surprised how fast it went but i had this full week left of christmas vacation so i plan on uploading more videos again what do you think about installs being gone what do you think about app sync being on do you even know what app sync is uh, <laughs> just the main thing is a lot of you guys know what installs is what do you think Thanks everybody for watching this Zygo 3D Twin Sim 4. Hit that like button, comment, share, and subscribe for more iOS. Thanks for watching.